Hey, YouTube, it is your girl, Tammy C. Walker, owner of Dreams Are Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. Welcome new subscribers. I got some new people. Always grateful, always happy. I've um, been saying I'm gonna put out a NACA video, so here it is. Now, I'm going to have my NACA meeting today. I'm going to tell you today what I did to prepare for this meeting. This is my second meeting. Then I'll do another video to tell you what happened after the meeting. I'm doing these videos. So if you are going to do a workshop in May, June, you'll have an idea of the format. I think the more organized you are, the better um, you know, the process will go. Um, so far, so good for me. I've been having a good process. Sorry, you all. It's been going pretty good to process. I think because I listened real well in the workshop, I follow instructions kind of well. I think I do. <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to be boastful, but I do. Um, and then, like, they give you an action plan. See how long mine was. So I just tried to do like quick stuff quickly. And some stuff you can't do right away because you're going to need your bank statement. So my last meeting was March 21st. My bank statement wasn't available yet. So now I uploaded March and April to be ready for today. So let me just do um, the PowerPoint, which I'm doing like Canva. So let me present that. Hold on, bear with me. Oh. Anytime I do technology, I start fumbling around, share screen in Canva. Now, why did I close it out, you all? I guess you all say, I don't know. Hold on a moment. Okay. I hope you all can see this. Not for sure. Hold on. You all could not see that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Okay. So today we want to talk about the NACA update, preparing for a second meeting with my counselor. Again, workshop was at the end of February. Second meeting was at the end of March. That's when she, you know, we did a lot of work. It was a long meeting. So prepare your, you're so sorry. Workshop was the first thing. That was four hours on Zoom, 300 plus 360 of us in there. Just trying to tell you what to look for. Now, maybe people are in person with these workshops. COVID is better. I don't know, but I'm just telling you how it rolled for me. I'm out of Illinois. So that's what happened at the end of February. Second thing I did, first meeting with my counselor, extraordinary counselor. Um, she worked with me for three hours. I'm just telling you, so prepare. If your meeting's at four, just book four to seven p.m. so you'll have enough time to get it done. I got an action plan when, once we were done. And that's what this PowerPoint Canva is about, showing you what all I had to do. So when she left me, she said, this is your action plan. Work on this. We're going to meet again in April 29th. So that's today. OK, so I just basically. <laughs> I'm basically saying everything I just said. I had the workshop at the end of February, first counselor meeting at the end of March. Today is the second meeting. So the action plan items I had to do, and some of you already follow me and you probably heard this already. I apologize for the repeats. I'm just trying to help people see the format. Action plan items that I had to address for this meeting Add March and April's bank statements from my checking and savings account. They're going to have you do a budget form. I don't know how much you can see. I don't want you seeing my information, but this is the budget form. Yeah. 
I don't know how much you can see. But anyway, <clears throat> it's going to have the month and the year. And you put your expenses, your rent, or mortgage, your groceries, your utilities, your meals, public transportation, car maintenance, more expenses like medicine, health insurance, child care, child support, entertainment, different things. So yeah, you're gonna upload that under your web file. Now, let me go back. The web file, when I look at the web file, they have enhanced it. It's a little bit different. So if you're already in this process, go check your web file. It may look a little different, more enhanced. It looks like they upgraded it, but I don't know. Maybe some of your documents are kind of weird looking or not quite there. I don't want to alarm you. It didn't look too bad, but it was definitely an enhancement and you may have to tweak something. So that's why I'm waiting on my meeting to see what my counselor tells me. I just wanted to warn you. Back to my action plans. I have three credit cards I need to pay off. You do not have to pay off all your debt. But three of mine were kind of lower. So she was like, can you get bring these to a zero balance? I got one of them to a zero balance, two more to go. I have to do this by June 30th. I had already did all of this, but just but this was on my action plan. Make sure your employment history is there. I do believe this, I want to say seven. This was it seven years? Two years. Lord, I don't be, I want to say two years of employment history. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I'm going by memory. Landlord was seven years. So I upload all of that information. I do think you got to make sure you have email addresses and phone numbers for your employers and landlords. Divorce papers. I've been divorced since 1999, but I still provided those papers. Um, I had an inquiry, one inquiry in January 2022, and they wanted to know why. And I told them I bought a treadmill and I had it financed. So that's that's what I had to explain. They're going to give you format, these letter formats. So you'll do your explanation in a letter. In the old web file, it got uploaded under letter of explanations, but other, I didn't see that option now. So let your counselor tell you. Um, your savings, you have to put aside that money that they're asking you to have at the end. Minimum required funds, MRF. So I do have $1,000 towards that. I guess I'm kicking myself in the butt a little bit, but I didn't get on a workshop until February. If I had known how much money I would have needed, the income tax refund I got, I would have probably kept all of it and not paid down some bills because that's what I ended up doing. And I wish I had known. So let me warn you, if you are new with starting this and you need $7,000, $5,300, if you get an income tax refund, please save it. Don't spend it. If you want to buy your house, don't spend it because you do need money. I know no money down. You do need money down. You do need money down. And the money down you would need is earnest money. Here in Illinois, you can use $1,000. Some people may want to do two. Maybe that would be more enticing for your offer. You have to get a home inspection. So let's just say you do 1000 for the earnest, 400 for the home inspection. We have 1400 and I'm not going to try to add this up because I'm not the best with math. Um, at the closing, you'll need another twelve hundred for homeowners insurance premium. These are rough draft numbers that I have on my pay. This is this was printed out from the website. Homeowners insurance two months two hundred dollars. Real estate taxes five hundred dollars. Prepaid mortgage interest three hundred twenty nine dollars, and then the PITI, which is principal interest taxes insurance thirteen oh five. On here is like totaling $3,934. I have to have more than that. So I'm just warning you, if you get, you have a lump sum of money, you may want to save it because it's not just walk up to NACA, get through the process. They submit your application. Oh, I don't have to have any money. Yes, you do. And before, oh, they're not even going to submit your application until you have that money that she, he or she is going to tell you what you need. So I'm trying to warn you, don't spend your money if you have 3000 $4,000, $10,000, $2,000, even whatever, because that's going to be less you have to come up with. Maybe you have a 401k. 
you could pull money from there. Like, I don't know. Don't let me start getting you in trouble. I'm just thinking out loud. Okay. So anyway, let me get back to my list. Savings. I just said that. And then I had to upload my student loan information. I have two student loans. They are on income driven paybacks. Due to COVID, I didn't have to pay back one. It's still on COVID. And the other one, I just been paying like the interest, but it adds up. So I've been shooting them a couple of hundred dollars sometimes just to keep stuff down. Let me continue with the items I had to do for my action plan. I had to upload an account that I had that was late and explain it. I had two other accounts. Well, another one was late. I had to explain why and one was written off. These were from years ago, but I still had to explain it. Um, keep uploading your pay stub. I got paid April 22nd. I uploaded that and a couple more times since March 21st. That was my last appointment. Keep your check stubs uploaded. Also, I get paid. I have two jobs. So I work as a therapist, but that's on the 1099. So I had to upload my 1099s for 2020 and 2021. So I don't have to so far, I haven't had to show anything for that besides those 1099s. Payment shock savings. What's that? If you pay $1,500 for rent now, but you want your mortgage to be $1,700, you must save that $200 every month to show them you can afford this. Let's say you pay $1,500. You want your mortgage to be $1,800. Every month, you got to keep saving that $300. So a couple of months, you got to have $600. That's in, in addition to your minimum required funds. I'm warning you because I think it's a misperception that no money down, you just show up with this zero and it's not how it go. I don't want you to be disappointed. You do have to participate as a volunteer for NACA. I think you can do different stuff. I know you could do some stuff online. You can recruit. They'll tell you, but you must do that. That's part of the program. Um. I don't think I have too much more information for you. <laughs> so like I said, I'll do a video to tell you what happened in my second meeting. Advice that I have, keep looking at your web file. And that's how I discovered it. I'm like, oh, this thing is different. It's good to pop in there. Keep uploading your documents. That's the most important thing. Stay organized. I use a flash drive. Um, and I have everything on there. So even with this thing being different now, the web file, if my counselor needs me to show her something, I have it on there. Uh-oh, <laughs> sorry guys. And um, I think the more organized you are, the less stress you'll be. Keep saving that money, keep saving that money, keep saving that money. And maybe some, maybe you're fortunate, like my parents are deceased. Um, and I can tell you right now, if my mom was alive, mama, mama, would be giving her baby girl some money towards her house. I wouldn't, I didn't, I wasn't the type of uh, daughter that really took money. Uh, and I'm grateful I don't have to ask people for anything. There's no, there's nobody to ask people. That's what's so sad. I don't even have that option, but I'm good. I'm, I'm good. And maybe you're a little younger than me. Maybe you can ask, it's not about age, but you know, 20s and 30s, you can, I would feel okay saying, mom, give me, you got a couple of thousand dollars, mama. And I know my beautiful, my lovely mama would do it. My dad would have fit though. My dad was sweet. Both of them were sweet. I'm just going off on a tangent. But I hope this helps you all. Now, people have been dropping me comments and I just so love it because I'm able to help them because I'm going through the process. And I think that might help them to feel better. Uh, when you don't know anything about a program, it's scary. And you hear horror stories, but when you know somebody's going through it, it's kind of cool. Drop me some comments, hit the like button. Welcome to my Naka channel. You Naka people, y'all made my channel grow. I'm just so grateful. And I didn't do it for views or numbers. I just wanted to share this information. Look, I feel like everybody should be able to have their own property, income property, your own home for your kids, for you, for you and your partner, your husband, your wife maybe your parents, you know, some of us have our parents that live with us as they got, as they have gotten older. Um, you may be taking care of a niece or nephew. You want to have your dog, cat. You just want to have your own place. Me personally, I kind of want a townhome. That's my number one 
I don't want to do grass. I don't want to um, do outdoors. I just don't have time. I'm, I live a kind of a busy life. So that's my goal. A nice town home, upstairs, downstairs. Even if I get a basement, that's even better. I could do my exercises and my music. Down there, I sing. Um, oh, I take a nice condo, spacious. But I want something nice, crisp, clean, sun coming in. Uh, my own washer dryer, nice appliances. You know, I just want something nice for Tammy. So I want you to get what you need as far as a house as well. And that's all I have for now. I really appreciate you all so much. You all, it really means a lot to get the likes, the views. And more importantly, I'm just grateful to God to be able to put out this information. And I think that's me, guys. Tammy Cherise Walker out of the Chicagoland area. Thank you for watching. This is my channel, Dreams Are a Reality. The NACA program is a proof that dreams are a reality and you can have your home. Thank you all for watching and um, just let me know how I can help. So let me stop sharing so I can end this. Okay, you all, I'll be back with another video though to continue what happened at my second meeting. Bye-bye.